Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 24th, 2020. So tomorrow will be, uh, well, a very short day. So markets are not open as long as they usually are because it's Christmas. Um, but we'll probably see quite a lot of volatility when the market is open. So if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, the Great British Pound has been rallying today, and the US dollar has been depreciating. And that, of course, has a very positive effect on this currency pair. So at this point, we're up 0.67%. We were up 1.4% at one point. So a massive rally today, but we have given most of those gains back. However, if we look at the technical indicators, they are still very bullish, and we probably will see another run at these highs in tomorrow session or when the market starts opening again. But tomorrow, most likely, we'll have a continuation of this rally. We hit the, uh, the top of the Bollinger Band and then we basically pulled back. But at this point, it looks like we are going to continue uh, this rally. We basically hit the lows of this market uh, two trading days ago at 13.19. And since then we rallied roughly 2.9% in only three trading days, which is fairly massive. So at this point, I have no interest basically shorting this. Uh, we can see what happens when this basically falls. The 50 moving average is basically the bottom of this market. We're trading above the 20 exponential at this moment, and we may see a little bit of pullback and then rally towards the upside in this market. So let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential. So we most likely will go and continue with this rally up towards the 50 moving average. So we'll see continuations like this and then break down. So we've done it several times in the past. Basically, we've done it all the way since March, where we've been trading within this uh, downward channel. So the upper part of the channel, if we get close to that, is it possible to sell? If we get close to the bottom, is possible to buy? At the moment, we are right in the middle of this channel. But the 50 moving average is an entry point for a sell. Uh, it's, probably, it's not the best entry point, but it is possible entry point. As you can see, every time we get close to the 50 moving average, this market tends to break down. But the best entry point for a sell is here at the 100, 100 moving average or the upper trend line. And the best, uh, best place to basically buy is at the bottom. If you look at the technical indicators, they are looking uh, more bullish for every day. Stochastic is uh, very bullish. The, uh, the CCI is, is getting close to zero, and the uh, RSI is turning around, and so is the MACD. We will most likely run into a lot of uh, resistance here at the 20 moving average. Um, so we'll see. If we manage to cross the, 50, the 20 exponential moving average, uh, we'll head towards the 50 moving average, and there will most likely drop like we did here and so on so no interest in basically buying this is just sell the dip at this point and when we get down to the bottom then it's possible to buy so let's look at the euro us dollar so it looked really strong in the beginning of the of the uh, trading session and at the end we gave most of those gains back at this point we are probably just gonna stick around here so the 20 exponential has been very supportive for a very long time now. I don't think that we're gonna break below the 20. I think that we're just gonna stay here, build momentum, and then head to 1.25 uh, uh, and probably also even higher than that. We are in an uptrend. We have been here for a long time, in the uptrend for a very long time, ever since we basically hit the bottom here since uh, March, we have been rallying roughly 15.3%. Uh, so that is quite a lot for this currency pair and it doesn't look like we're going to see any major change in that uh, in that um, in that uh, in that trend so at the moment i have a target of 
very long target of these previous highs here, which is at 2.55. And um, that will maybe occur within the next few months. So at this point, we may see a little bit of pullback. 20 is holding. And if that, as long as that is the case, we'll just stay around this area in order to build momentum and then go significantly higher. So let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. As you can see, we have found support here at the 20 exponential yet again. And now we're starting to rally. We've given some of those gains back. We're up 0.28 at this point. Uh, but technically, they are a little bit mixed. MACD is negative, is, um, is um, bearish. CCI, the RSI is flat. The CCI is flat. But the stochastic is turning around. And that is a very positive sign. I would actually consider basically buying into this because it shows signs of life. We hit um, support yesterday here, and now we're rallying above this previous candle here, and that is a very bullish sign. So no interest basically shorting this. This is definitely a buy for me. And first target are these previous highs, and then we will go significantly higher from there. So let's look at a US dollar, Canadian dollar. We ran into uh, resistance yesterday, and today we are falling again. And um, I entered this market for a short today, and the, the target is basically these previous lows. At this point, you can just look at the technical indicators. They are all turning around, especially the CR stochastic has pulled around and will cross the signal line within uh, probably one or two trading days. And that will mean that we'll cross the 20 exponential and head towards uh, these these previous lows and there's a lot of room to the downside i have no interest in basically buying this i don't believe that this is going to rally any significant significantly more uh, we tried uh, both yesterday and the day before and then we broke down and that is a clear sign that we are going to turn around you can also see the bullish band here we were at the top of the bullish band turned around the 20, the 20 moving average is basically our target at this point. Break below that opens the door to these previous lows. So there were the two other currency pairs that we were looking at yesterday. So they started falling in the Asian se session when I was technically asleep, so I didn't enter them. So the US dollar, Swedish uh, krone, we can see that we ran into resistance here at the 20 exponential and then broke down significantly today. We're, we're down uh, roughly half a percent. And um, yes, at this point, the target is uh, 8.24. If that breaks, then we are going significantly lower in this market. Every single time we get close to the 20 exponential, that is basically a selling opportunity. We have been in a downtrend for a very long time, and that looks like it's just going to continue in this fashion. The other one was the US dollar and Norwegian crown, and it fell roughly at this point 1.01%. 1 .1, uh, that's a quite a massive fall. So most of the gains from yesterday are basically wiped out today. And at this point, these second indicators are turning around and we will head towards uh, 8.55368 to be very exact. If this breaks, then we are going significantly lower. Very similar to the, to the um, dollar, the Swedish crown, the 20 exponential is basically the, the in the top of this market and every time we get close to that it is basically a selling opportunity so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and merry christmas